COVID-19, caused by the novel coronavirus SARS-CoV-2, has led to a significant global health crisis with a wide range of respiratory complications. While the primary focus has been on its acute effects, there is growing concern about its potential long-term impacts, including the possibility of contributing to the development of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which is what we're going to discuss in this quick video. COPD is a progressive lung disease characterized by persistent respiratory symptoms and airflow limitation due to airway and alveolar abnormalities. It is most commonly caused by long-term exposure to harmful particles or gases, primarily from cigarette smoke. While the exact mechanisms leading to COPD are complex and multifactorial, chronic inflammation plays a pivotal role. This inflammation leads to structural changes and narrowing of the small airways, as well as the destruction of lung tissue. In the context of COVID-19, the virus causes an acute and severe inflammatory response in the lungs, which can result in substantial damage to lung tissues. However, the acute nature of COVID-19 infection differs fundamentally from the chronic long-term exposure required to develop COPD. While COVID-19 can lead to severe respiratory distress and long-lasting lung damage, the current evidence does not support a direct causative link between COVID-19 and the development of COPD. That said, the potential for COVID-19 to exacerbate pre-existing respiratory conditions, including COPD, is well documented. Individuals with pre-existing COPD are at higher risk of severe illness if they contract COVID-19, and the infection can worsen their symptoms and accelerate the progression of their disease. The severe inflammatory response triggered by COVID-19 can lead to increased mucus production, airway obstruction, and further lung damage, which can significantly impact the overall health and quality of life of COPD patients. Moreover, the long-term effects of COVID-19, often referred to as long COVID, can include persistent respiratory symptoms such as shortness of breath and cough, which can mimic or overlap with COPD symptoms. However, these symptoms are typically a result of post-viral lung damage and not the onset of COPD itself. Long COVID may involve chronic inflammation and fibrosis or scarring in the lungs, but this is distinct from the chronic obstructive pathology seen in COPD. But as previously mentioned, while COVID-19 has a profound impact on the respiratory system and can exacerbate existing COPD, there is no conclusive evidence that it directly causes COPD. The acute inflammatory response and potential for long-term lung damage from COVID-19 differ from the chronic exposure and inflammation that underpin COPD development. Ongoing research is essential to fully understand the long-term respiratory consequences of COVID-19 and to determine whether any indirect mechanisms might contribute to COPD progression in susceptible individuals. For now, the primary focus should remain on preventing COVID-19 transmission, protecting vulnerable populations, and managing pre-existing respiratory conditions to minimize the impact of the virus. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you'll enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching, have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy my friend.